What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Angela Altieri. If this is your first time here and welcome to my video. Last time I did the rest of my face products, my primers, foundations, concealers, and setting sprays. So now that we're done with the face, the complexion, I guess you can say, let's move into the eyes. I'm gonna look into my eyeshadows, all my singles, palettes, eyeliners, mascaras, lots of mascaras, and my brow products. I just tried out the Urban Decay Brow Blade. Girl, or boy, it's bomb. I'm in love, I'm obsessed with it. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get it. This is where I store my eyeshadow palette. It's just my desk area. So yeah. First, we'll start with my mini palettes. These are the Natasha Denona minis. This is the mini Lila. Let's open. That's what it looks like. I keep the packaging on all of them. Why? Because they're expensive for what they are and I just do oh my gosh why is it so dirty um let me so the first one I ever got was this mini Lila B palette why I don't know but the standout shades in this palette for me are even though it has the beautiful pops of color these two shades oh so pretty I'm not going to swatch every single shadow I have, but these shades are so pretty. And then this Flint shade is, it's like the perfect contour shade. I put it in my crease and I feel so beautiful and like, like my eye is chiseled. Maybe I should try it as like a face contour. It's amazing. Um, then what was, this came next. This is this mini star palette. The shades that stuck out to me were these three because they're very beautiful and this one is a duochrome and I wanted it for this color but this color kind of disappointed me it was underwhelming she does great shimmers it's just a duochrome I wasn't a big fan of but then again when it comes to her transition shades she just she just gets it. She just gets it. Like, the, it's so smooth. And they're so easy to blend. They're just so easy to work with. I love it. Then this is the mini nude. The colors that stood out were this. They're so pretty. The shimmers in here stood out to me. I don't know how they got so dirty but like how stunning is that i'm getting nose sorry I'm getting nose um but yeah how reflective how stunning i love these they're so pretty so since we were talking about some higher end palettes even though those are cheap those are probably 25 dollars but still it's the name um, this is Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Sublime Bronze Ambition Eye Palette. I bought this on Macari because I wasn't trying to pay full price. And I wanted to thing Pat McGrath, you know. Oh. But, I mean, there's only one transition shade. Tati recently, Tati Westbrook recently put this in one of her videos. And, I mean, these shades are Donners, man. Like, unbelievable. I wore this to my godbrother's wedding. Like a bronze smoky look. And this shade I could use as a highlighter on my face even. Like, wow. Amazing. Now let's get into some more affordable um, eyeshadow palettes. This is the ColourPop. X Disney Designer Collection palette. It's a princess thing. I got this for free actually. Colourpop sent me the wrong order and they let me keep it. So now I have it and it's so pretty. I think I only use this once. Um, do I need it? No. 
do I want it? Yes, this is definitely a collector's kind of thing. And it's really pretty, it's really princessy. Like, that's the best thing to describe it, best way to describe it. And ColourPop has amazing shadows. I got rid of the Mar palette, or the Mar palette. But I did just order the Uh Huh Honey. And I'm really excited to try that out. This is the ColourPop uh, uh Uh Honey, I guess. Um, I needed this. I needed, needed, needed to get this. Um, it's just so pretty. This middle shade is like nothing I've ever seen before. It's so chunky. Like I am worried about it in my. I am worried about it being in my eye. But you know what? It's so pretty. And then this matte shade I'm excited about. I know it's just a matte. But everyone loves this shade to really deepen up the yellow. Can't really see it now. But yeah, I'm really excited to try this palette out. I have not yet. I've only swatched it because I just got it. But oh dear, it's not holding. But yeah, I have it. And I'm excited to try it out. Next is the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill. Armed and gorgeous palette. It doesn't say it, but that's what it is. It's a lot of drama with this collab. Um, I think I used this once. I was really interested in this shade. Um, what else is really nice in here? All the tones that I typically go for. Clearly. Um, I. It was kind of patchy for me. I'm not going to lie. But. I only use it once, like I said, so I feel like I have to give it more of a chance before I get rid of it. It's also a collector's piece to me, because I don't have anything on Jaclyn Hill. Oh, I do have my lipsticks. Lipsticky. Um, but I, I do want the other palette. I don't have it yet, so I don't know. I, I want to keep trying this out, see what happens. This is the model's own Barely There 2 palette. I got this from... I think TJ Maxx or Marshalls for like three dollars. I just wanted something neutral, kind of yeah, neutral. Nothing warm. I didn't want anything warm. I wanted it to be completely neutral. I have not tried this out. It's only been swatched. It doesn't. It's like it doesn't amaze me. It seems very basic, very simple. But for three dollars, I wanted to see. You know. What it do? See, I'm not amazed by it, but for three dollars, I just wanted to see if it worked for me. If not, I'll give it away. This is the Elf Mad for Matte palette. Again, I wanted something cool tone, neutral, and this is it. Like, ooh, I think I did use this. I think I liked it. Can't really remember, but. I think I, no, I didn't use this yet, but yeah, I just wanted a more cool tone palette, and this gives it to me because you don't really find a lot of cool tone palettes out and out anymore. So I think this is a staple in everyone's collection. Going into more like influencer products, this is the KKW uh, Smoky Volume One eyeshadow palette. This was on sale, I think, for like ten dollars. And look at, oh my goodness, look at how pretty. I did use this once. I think I have a picture up. No, I don't have a picture up. Um, but yeah, it performed pretty well. No complaints. Pretty palette, pretty colors, easy to travel with. Would I travel with it? I don't know, but it's cute. So, I like it. This is the Automar Cosmetics. Uh, Reina del Caribe eyeshadow palette volume one. Um, I got this because Gabby, the owner, is a Cuban woman, so this is Latina owned brand. Um, she's friends with Kathleen Lights and these sheets. Oh my goodness, they are beautiful! Look how stunning that is. They blend well, all the Metallics blend nicely into one another. The mattes blend beautifully. 
this palette is a freaking one um this is the palette i'm wearing in my i guess like my profile picture my youtube like it's stunning i love it this is my baby this is the jeffree star cosmetic straw breaker palette um look at all these beautiful shades um i don't have a palette that's super duper colorful like this and i mean this is a good investment you have the yellows orange a lot of the warm tones the cooler tones you have the whole rainbow here the metallics in here are stunning you can get a slightly simple look but nothing like very very simple <laughs> um but this palette is great for that trend of the pop of color in the inner corner um that's this shade brain freeze is what i have in my inner corners right now to start the video and the outro this orange shade orange juice is so unique so pretty um i love this palette i've used it i think two or three times and i love it i think it's perfection well worth the money for your, if it's something that you are you don't already have in your collection if you don't already have a lot of colors which i don't i have mostly neutrals so this is a great palette for me and i'm not getting rid of it i just recently purchased the um anastasia beverly hills extra Kiana palette it's so pretty I was on the fence, can I open it? I was on the fence of buying this because I didn't know if I needed it or not, but here are some swatches. Put some that are like, it's so pretty. The shade Zam is the first one there. This is the only shade I've used so far. And it's so stunning and gives a wet look to the eyes. Then the next one I have is the Truation Sponsored. Um, sponsored is what I wanted Natasha to know what um, shadow to look like, um, but it didn't perform like that. The duochrome pinky blue shade, and then under that is Soleil, which is a very pretty champagne color, and under that is Ginger. Uh, so far, they swatch nicely because I haven't used them, but I'm very excited to create a look with this palette. This is the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes. This is probably my most reliable palette. I know you're not getting hard, fan. Um, if I'm doing a look and I don't have enough mattes or I need a specific color just to blend in something a little bit more, this is it. And it smells delicious. It's smooth, everything blends well. It's a beautiful palette. I love it. This is the Tarte mm, what is Be You Naturally palette. Is that me? Hello. Um, I got this in a boxy charm and I really like it. To me, there's okay, to me there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, it's a simple palette. I will see the mattes in here. The way they blend is stunning. I, I will probably never use this matte maybe not even that one but it's a great natural oof um it's watching back because my hand is wet I'll do it again I'll do it again um yeah it's a great natural palette like something that you can always count on to work and yeah the mattes blend perfectly well I have zero problems with that and the shimmers are pretty as well. This is my only Tarte palette, so I keep it around for that. This is the Naked 3 palette. My boyfriend bought me this on our first Christmas, so even though I never use it, <laughs> sorry. Um, I'm never getting rid of it, like, ever. Even when, like, I shouldn't use it anymore. I keep the brush in here because I don't like blended brushes just being out there like that. I wanted it because I was obsessed with rose gold and this was like marketed as the rose gold palette. It's just there's one, two, three, four mattes. These 
or ashy this is like okay for me and like there's no transitions for me it's very very cool tone which is okay but i i need more i need more mattes and like the shimmers are are nice i mean i'm not obsessed but there's like only so many looks you can make out of this palette i feel like you would definitely need something to accompany it i feel like the kkw will be a great pairing for this or the elf mad for mad but yeah i should definitely dive into this more but yeah it's never going anywhere next is the urban decay born to run palette this palette is truly amazing i mean everything blends well the colors are amazing i mean are they not amazing you can get pinky tones pop color cooler tones very warm tones this is good for traveling i use this a few times look at that color oh, i need to do a look with that color this is a little lackluster it could be better but then the green oh my goodness um even though i don't who am i who do i think i am that i'm wearing this but um it's a beautiful palette definitely to travel with born to run it's a great name for it um yeah i like this palette for almost any kind of look and if you're a makeup artist this could be good okay now we can get into my single pressed eyeshadow palettes or i single eyeshadows these two i'll show first because i don't know where i got them from i'm pretty sure this is from the balm i dug my nail into it today i just thought it was a nice pewter is that what you call pewter this i don't know where it's from i'm pretty sure i got these singles in a in an ipsy bag if i figured it out i'll link it down below i haven't used them on my eyes ever so yeah i just wanted to show you those because they are in my collection then i just got this really cute z or not z palette but md palette from tarte it was like 10 bucks comes with the mirror um and it's super cute then these are my let me screw it in these are my colored arranged single eyeshadows i bought these like three years ago i've never wore them are these colored yeah they are this is saint germain cocktail i will link these down below this is a nice gold not yellow gold okay, more champagne gold really like that then i have let's go by color this is flashy this look like I, I haven't used these Ooh, this is a little bit more orangey peach am i too bright yeah there we go really pretty shade should use that um this is this is nothing i don't know where this is from i don't know where this is from but it's not color green that's it right there my light is too bright can't really see that's it right there i mean it's a little bit more bronzy but not like too bronzy not overwhelming this is color green this is superstar a very true yellow gold that i don't really like for my skin tone um yeah i don't really like yellow gold on me because i'm more of like a neutral skin tone but it is a very pretty color and i mean i have it so <laughs> i should use it right and then this one is happy days i thought it was like a really cute peachy color not oh, um but it's not really peachy it's like a duochrome is it duochrome is it i don't know like i feel like it's more pink than peach and then like a little bit purple i don't know i haven't used it oh wait i think i did use it but i can't remember and then this is clutch pearls very white yeah 
very stark white not metallic but like shimmery so got these for three years haven't used them if they did maybe once i don't even know where that's from but yeah i should definitely use these but this palette is so cute and maybe since it's in this smaller palette with my other eyeshadow palettes maybe i'll use it more I need to hold myself accountable and use the shit i have here are my single eyeshadows and most of them are color pop but first let's get into this kkw beauty loose pigment what is it really called loose chromatic pigment and this is in the shade of copper i don't really use this my boyfriend bought it for me he's so sweet um but yeah oh it's so why have i not used this hold on let me put my leg down even more so you can really see don't tip over oh my god it's so pretty oh my god next time i do a makeup i'm using this i haven't swatched this in a really long time but it is so pretty glittery sparkly it's copper like very red tone it's so pretty oh my god why have i not used that am i crazy these two are just from the regular ColourPop collection of Super Shock eyeshadows. This is in Liberty. I bought this because I wanted something silver. I actually bought this in the ColourPop order that, order that they didn't send me. And then I got the Princess palette, which came with the silver. Hmm. And they're very similar, but look how stunning that is. I love that. And then this is in the shade Kennedy. This is more matte. Why did I buy it? I don't know. Have I used it? No. <laughs> I think I used it once. It barely even shows up on me. Should I decode that? I think... <gasps> Am I decluttering? I think I'm gonna let go of this one. And give it to a friend or something. These two are in collaboration with Kathleen Mines from her holiday collection. This is Glisten. I hit pan on it. This is the second thing I put pan on. I didn't think I used this that much. I feel like this one doesn't have as much product as the others. Very peachy, sheeny, all over the lid, one and done, as she likes to call it. Very one and done kind of color. Very pretty, wearable everyday kind of thing. I love that. And then this is in the shade Light Up, which is like the same color, but amplified. Like, like it takes it there very sparkly very glittery with the same like peachy tone a little bit of like gold sparkles gold reflex on it very pretty these are in collaboration with disney designer the princess collection this is so this is love what is this i don't know what movie this is necessarily wasn't it i don't know i don't know i don't know don't call me i know my princess ship but this name confused me. It's a very pretty, another like pewter shade. Do I need that other shadow? If I have this, I don't. But I'm gonna keep it anyway. So yeah, very pretty shade. If you haven't tried the ColourPop Super Shock shadows, what are you doing? I mean, they're so inexpensive. This is almost there. This is from Princess and the Frog. Um, yeah, these shadows are just so creamy. They last. They don't last that long not like a regular powder but they give such a beautiful finish to the skin this is like a chocolatey color with some sparkle this is pretty oh my gosh i just packed these on my lid and i'm good to go i love this product very very good investment it's worth the money it's like six dollars highly recommend them these two are color pop what are they? Jelly Much Shadows in collaboration with Disney Villains. This is Perfectly Wretched. I think this is Cruella de Vil. Oh my god. I, no way my cap came off. And then it's gonna dry out. For your Super Shocks, if you have them, make sure they are... Make sure they are um, closed tight, otherwise they dry out. This is... Don't tell me this is gonna dry out. I'm gonna have a hissy fit. Look how pretty, glittery, pinky. Oh my god. There's some green in there. Am I crazy? Is that from the other color? No, there's green in there. It's so pretty. Um, this formula is very special. 
This is in the shade Just Your Voice. This is Ursula. Oh god, can I open this? I can. You see, this one's a little bit more goofy than the other. I'm gonna be so mad if it dries out. Do I wear colors like this? No. Oh wow, it's so pretty. It's like a purple, blue, yeah, definitely a purple blue duochrome. Like there, it's purple, and then there, it's blue. Like right here, it's blue. So pretty. And these again, close tightly. You don't want them to dry out, honey. This is from J Cat Beauty. This is a chromatic pigment. I don't know the shade. I'll have to look that up. This is only a couple of bucks. And ooh, wowie wowie. It's a loose pigment. And oh my gosh, it is packed with glitter and sparkle. If you have glitter glue, pull it out. Gonna need it. Or at least wet your brush before you put this on. Because it will it will get everywhere. The packaging is inconvenient because it's a fucking mess. That's all I gotta say. It's a mess. But, dang, that's pretty. It's so pretty. Here are all of my brow products. Very small collection. First, the Anastasia Brow is in dark brown. It looks like this. Um, I interchange a lot of my brow products. Like It doesn't really matter to me when I wear them or not. Just depends on how I'm feeling that day. This is the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil and Espresso. Yeah. Just watching so you can see like the shades. Some of them might this is like a little bit warm for me. Just a slightly bit. Um but should I talk more? Like this brow definer is quick and easy for me when I don't really want to worry too much about my brows. This gives me very natural feathery brows. I really like that. Do I not have a brow whiz? Oh, that is my brow whiz. I thought I had a brow, whatever. This is the Essence, the eyebrow pen, semi permanent marker. Do you have a shade? Is there a shade? Am I crazy? Medium brown 03. I tried this. Unimpressed. I might throw this out. I'll give it to someone. I'm decluttering this. I'm gonna like it. Because I had something as a marker that's much better. Um, this is the Relax. This is the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer in Deep Brown. This is like the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Easy, quick to throw on, great color. Bulletproof. Then yeah that's it okay this is this is my holy grail let me this needs a moment this is the urban decay brow blade waterproof pencil and ink stain in the shade dark drapes i don't know how i feel about that but i tried this out for the first time today here's the marker pen stain that's gonna stain me a little bit and then this is the pencil i mean for 26 dollars you're getting two products when you look at it, this stain's a little bit more red tone, but $26, you're getting two products. I have a spoolie. This is my spoolie. I use it for my brows. Um, it doesn't really matter to me that it doesn't come with a spoolie because I'm getting two products for the price of one regular product. I mean, a little bit more. I think a brow is like 20 bucks or something. But I mean, this product is amazing. I was hesitant to buy it because it is expensive, but I really wanted to try out the marker and then also give me a credit card. Let me say it again. So I was like, let me go for it. Let me try it out and whatever. And I mean, I don't need any other product to be very honest with you. The pencil is amazing and the stain is amazing. In a future video, I'll show how I use it. Um, but I love it so much and I would definitely 100% repurchase this as soon as I feel like I need to um, because I love it so much. Like I seriously don't need any other product 
but this and the LA girl one is good for an affordable option and when I'm when I like I need to go through pencils that's a good option for me too then I have this Maybelline I'm not gonna swatch this but I have this Maybelline tattoo studio brow pomade in ash brown I don't, it's dark to be ashy it's pretty dark and it's thick it works really well I like it I use it for more glam looks so I want a very defined brow and then this is the Anastasia I think this is my first brow product brow powder duo in ebony this is my first brow product um yeah I interchange what products I use depending on my mood or if I feel like I haven't used something in a long time then I'll go into something else this is my first brow gel not the very first but I repurchased it this is the first thing I ever had this is the Maybelline brow drama in soft brown the or the first one I had was a little bit darker I wanted this one to highlight my my brow hairs I don't know I was in a vibe I haven't really used this lately this is what it looks like it's good no problem no worries I'm not really like enthusiastic about brow gels they don't move me um I don't know this is the one I use all the time but I'll get into that this is the Anastasia clear brow gel I use this to lay down my straightaway hairs in my part that's what I use this for to be honest um because I use this product the essence make me brow um gel mascara in brownie browns all the time every time i do my brows i use this product in all my videos this is the product i'm using keeps my brows in place they look great they look fluffy they have like little fibers can you see that can you see little fibers i guess um yeah if i need a brow gel again i'm i'm buying this one um in the future when i need to start branching out and trying new things and sure i will but so far this is it for me and i'm okay with that here are my eyeliners i don't have any liquid eyeliners this is the wet oh wait the brow markers are staining which i guess is good for their their claims this is the wet and wild mega liner in black this is very very black very easy to work with i like it a lot it lasts on me very fine felt tip yeah it's a felt tip um i have no problems with this i don't really wear eyeliner that much anymore i did in high school i go now and i'm a little bit shaky with it now so yeah but if i want to wing or if i want to cover up a lash band this is nice this is also nice i only have two <laughs> oh i have three um this is the maybelline tattoo no no maybelline master precise all day liquid liner in black i like pens something a little bit longer that i can hold on to and again another felt tip very black very fine it's really nice it i think it dries out a little bit fast but but then again i also don't wear liner every day like if someone wore eyeliner every day i think they'll be fine but yeah and they both dry down pretty matte could be more matte but whatever then this is my first ever not the actual first thing but the first product first eyeliner i had um i think i tried this on my 16th birthday this is the stila stay all day waterproof liquid eyeliner intense black another felt tip Ooh, super black super fine wow this is still good i didn't know it was still good but yeah, I hope these don't stain. They won't stain, right? Um, but yeah, I'm not really into winged eyeliner lately, liquid eyeliner, so I don't have that many. For my pencil eyeliners, this is the Urban Decay Glide On 24-7 Eye Pencil in Perversion. Super black. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I feel like this is the best black gel eyeliner or like gel pencil eyeliner. And it is 24 hours. How do you agree with that? It is, I mean, for me, I guess I have really watery eyes, but if I tie line in my upper waterline, it always transfers to my bottom. 
lot of lash line. And this is the Pixie Endless Silky Eye Pen in Black Noir, or just black. Oof. Are they dupes? Are they dupes? They just might be, because I feel like they glide on the same, they apply the same. Just as black, the Pixie might be. I think it's just a light, but they, they're just as black. I feel like they just swatch the same thing. Amazing. I recommend. I mean, this is pretty, this is more expensive for the drugstore and probably like $12, but pretty nice. Pretty nice. Um, this is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Gel Pencil in Bold Brown. I use this almost every day to tie mine. It's a little bit more... I not I don't know. It's a, it's less intense than going in with black in the waterline, and yeah, it's a beautiful chocolatey brown. Very good, very creamy. Stays all day. What should we get into? Go into the nudes. This is the pretty vulgar eyeliner pencil in blank page. Manny and Way was talking about this one. You yeah, already can't open it. I've been struggling with this packaging lately. I don't know why. If you struggle with this, let me know. But Manny Me was raving about this. It's a new pencil. It's a little bit like, it leans more pink, like a cool tone pink. And it's cute. I haven't been that into it lately ever since I got the ColourPop gel liner in Honey Dude because I don't know something about this color that are they the freaking same no it's a little bit more yellowy in tone a little bit warm in tone compared to this one and I feel like it just suits me more for some reason maybe it's my eye color or is Manny likes that one and he is dark one, so I don't know maybe it's my, my skin tone then I have this ultra beauty Ulta Beauty Gel Eyeliner in Halo. I think I'm gonna get rid of this because I don't really use it. And it doesn't really show up. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this. I have to, I'll sharpen it first before I give it to someone. Then I have this one in Peacock, which is very pretty. Very pigmented. Very pretty. I like it. I like these eyeliners. And then I have ColourPop more ColourPop gel liners. This is Fastlane. Oh my god, why is it out like that? Jesus. It's like Peacock, but matte Peacock has a little bit of shimmer in it. Very nice deep green. I like the ColourPop liners. They're nice. They stay all day. Creamy, pigmented. <gasps> no, don't tell me that. Don't, don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. This is in the shade Downtown LA, DTLA. Oh do not break. Do not, do not do that. Do not, do not, do not. Can I swatch this even? I'm gonna figure out how to save this, but it's a nice navy blue. I'm looking a little patchy right now because it's trying to die on me, but yeah, these are all my eyeliners and honestly I don't feel the need to have any more than this okay I have to refilm this because I don't know what happened to my video but they're not the good so these are all of my mascaras really quickly to get into my favorites this is the benefit bad gal bang black one this is what the want looks like very skinny this Gives me very thick, full, long lashes. Nothing really holds a curl except this one, but um, my favorite. I just ordered another one of these, and I have it in a mini size. Then, at first, this is the Superhero It Mascara. At first, I didn't really like this because it was very clumpy, but when I use it um, paired with something else, if I just use like one or two coats of this max two coats, then it's very fluffy. Um, it's still clump clumpy, but also there's like a voluminizing effect. Um, 
So yeah, it looks like I have false lashes. I really like that. And I also really like, I really like this one. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Volume Mascara. It's not volumizing at all. Like seriously, no volume. Even if you build it, you get no volume. Um, but this curls my lashes like nothing else I have. And it holds my curl. So I use this almost as like um, a mascara primer or eyelash primer because it curls my lashes and then everything else gives it volume and like really like that um those are like my absolute favorite oh no wait this is actually one of the faves as well benefit roller lash for the days where i'm doing a simple low-key glam just gives a nice pretty effect to the eyelashes not very voluminizing but it separates them nicely and lengthens them so i really like that one everything else is like nothing too special to be honest but the ones that i do like to wear this is the pat mcgrath labs fetish eyes mascara this doesn't do too much for me it voluminizes a little bit lengthens a little bit again it doesn't hold a curl but I spent my coin on it so i'm going to use it I also like this Tarte Light Camera Lashes. Um, it voluminizes, it does not curl. It can get clumpy. I have very long lashes, but they're very thin and I don't have many. So with the mascara, I really want something that's voluminizing, thickening, and separates so it doesn't get too clumpy because then it looks like spider lashes on me. So this is okay. Um, oops. this was nice. I just recently got this in a boxy charm. The Tarte Big Eagle Mascara. I think I really like this. I only use it once though. Reminds me of the Better Than Sex one and this one, L'Oreal. It's very nice, voluminizing, not too clumpy. So I guess I'm going to these two. This is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, Luminous Lash Paradise, and I have the base primer. This, people were so amazed by it, but like it wasn't anything too special to me. I think it was just too, too thick on me. It gets too clumpy. I haven't used it in a little while. So maybe the formula is better not. I find with mascara, sometimes if you let it sit, um, it gets better with that. Like fine line. Then this base, I don't know. I keep trying to use this base because sometimes like you don't know how long to wait to put on the actual mascara after you've applied the base and then sometimes you know the black mixes with the white or the pink and then it, it it's just so difficult um but i keep trying to use this and sometimes it works if i get the timing just right and sometimes i get it right by chance by luck um but it does thicken my lashes if i use it correctly then for more natural day, I'm uh, going with the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. One of the biggest reasons why I don't like this mascara is because the wand is too fat. Like, again, my eyelashes are thin, so to have a wand so thick, it's hard to really get all my lashes and separate them nicely. And my eyes are small, so this always transfers for me. All my mascara is transferred every single time always um but this is a little bit more difficult to use for me another one that's difficult is this guy the essence i love extreme crazy volume brown mascara this is difficult because the wand i love the brown because it's not so intense or harsh so perfect for natural day but the bristles are so tiny that you, like you can't help but get it to transfer and then there's so much product on the wand especially at the tip here you see how much product there is it just gets crazy like there's too much product on the wand and the, the bristles are too small so i'm gonna try the color pop brown mascara instead and see how much i like that one this underwhelmed me the thrive cosmetics 
liquid lash extensions. Caffeine Light's raised about this because it's a great tubing mascara and it does come off easily but the formula itself maybe because it's sitting now it'll work better for me but I feel like it was too wet too liquidy and it didn't really do much for my lashes because it was too wet. Maybe it'll work better now. I was unimpressed like highly unimpressed with this KKW Beauty um, mascara in black. It was like $10 on sale but it, it was really not special. Really, truly, not special. Um, but I bought it, so I'll, I'll use it, maybe. Probably use it up, but I don't know. It wasn't that great. And then finally, the L'Oreal Voluminous Original in black, carbon black, I think. Um, I mean, this wasn't special either. It works, it coats, but I don't really wear falsy, so when I buy a mascara, I wanted to be voluminizing, thickening, curling, all of that good stuff because I don't wear lashes every day. So I want something that's gonna give me a false lash effect without being false lashes. And this is okay. I hardly ever wear lashes, like, I mean, ever. Only when it's a very special event. But I have one, two, three, four, five. I don't know why. First, this is the Flutter Lashes. I don't know what style this is. Can you tell me? No, that's not gonna be there. It's not gonna be there. It's not there. Where the hell is the royalty? Perhaps, maybe. Um, this is what they look like. This is how much I have to cut off, so I don't look crazy. Um, but these are very thick, very dramatic, and they're longer on the outer corner so it gives a nice cat eye effect these are really pretty i like them and they're inexpensive i bought them off from morphe then what came after well, i think this is my first pair this is the lily yeah lily lashes lux lash kit i think these are like the lux lashes i don't know which one exactly but these are a little bit more natural like i wanted to wear these on like an everyday basis like I would. These are really nice and pretty. A little bit longer on the ends. Fluttery, fluffy, not too dramatic. I really like these. Then these came next. These are the House of Lashes Iconic Light. Let me take them out. So we can see. Come on. This is what they look like. Let's take this classic off. <gasps> Don't you even dare. Um, can you see the freaking eyeshadow in the blue? I have to clean them. Um, but yeah, they're very short in the front or in the inner corner and then get much longer at the ends, which I really like because it gives a more natural effect and it blends in nicely with my lashes. These are natural, but still give a nice full effect to the lashes. I really, really love this pair. And I think it was about $12 since it's a light lash. And I bought these on a whim from Ulta. I think it was And I really like them. Then, I just bought these Kiss Lash Couture Full Lash Extensions. I don't know, short. They're short. I don't know, I just wanted to try false. I mean, single um, lashes. Haven't tried them out yet. Brand new in the box. We'll see. And then finally, in a box chart, I got a Lashaholic Luxury Lashes in Insta Gram. Um, these are super natural. I think I like them. Um, they have some lashes that are much longer than others. The very short in the front, and then. I mean, I probably cut this part off, so in the last part will be long in the outer corner. But I have not tried these out. These are perfect for every day, so I'm excited to try that out. And that's all my lashes. Thank you so much for watching my iPodded collection. Comment down below if there's anything you've been loving, any palettes that you've been eyeing. And maybe you want, or maybe I, I'm pushing you to splurge a little bit or finally make the purchase. Also, comment down below if there are any mascaras you really love because i love mascara and can you ever have too many no i'm always buying mascara 
so yeah like this video subscribe to my channel hit the bell notification if you're feeling froggy i do post every saturday probably at 12 p.m eastern standard time because i'm from new york if you didn't know maybe i should make a video on like get to know me i'm from new york hello please share this share it to one friend all your friends share it to instagram twitter i have i will have everything linked down below i also link my makari i sell makeup on there if you're interested in anything that i'm trying to get rid of thank you so so much for watching and stay tuned next time bye